There's one headline that pops up pretty often that I'm sure all of you are used to seeing now. It's like a Stan Lee cameo in the news cycle. TikTok being banned. It's here all the time, like this looming menace. Any day now, TikTok's gonna get banned. The boogeyman will be destroyed. And every single time, it seems nothing happens and nothing changes. But yesterday, there was a pretty sizable development in this whole anime arc where Congress voted 50 to 0 about going forward with the TikTok ban, assuming they don't divest. So it's a really interesting situation where I'm still not convinced it's going to be banned because there's just too much money at play here. And I've just seen this song and dance too many times. You can't only puff out your chest for so long before it just becomes no longer meaningful. But I'll, I'll be honest, there's a little part of me thinking like, damn, they could actually just ban TikTok this time around. It was so bad, in fact, that TikTok themselves sent out like an APB to their users like, hey, we need to get everyone on the horn here to contact your congressman and let them know what TikTok means to you. So TikTok weaponized the airwaves and gave their users all the tools needed to contact their congressman as quickly and efficiently as possible. So they spearheaded fucking Operation Piss Baby where people started calling these congressmen and complaining saying about why TikTok shouldn't be banned this and that. There were allegedly so many calls from so many disgruntled users that they had to shut off their phones because people kept shaking their fist at them. And that does seem pretty significant considering TikTok itself seems to be scared about this new Congress vote. So perhaps there really is a chance that it gets banned and that would be one of the most shocking things I think I've ever seen with a company of this size. I feel like what's most likely to happen is TikTok eventually will just play ball and divest and that'll be that. TikTok will persist. It's just so big. It's massive. And it's not just normal, like average everyday users, like average Joes. It's businesses now that invest so much money into TikTok. It's all of these corporations now. It has been heavily commercialized, even outside of just people sending goofy dances back and forth. There's so much money wrapped up in it. I just don't see it vanishing. And it's become such a massive marketing tool for so many companies. I, I just, I would be beyond stunned. But anyway, uh, I went over it on stream, diving into all of the thorough details. So I'm just going to go ahead and play those clips so you can get caught up to speed on why it's looking down the barrel of a potential ban and what's exactly going on with it. Did you see Congress just pass legislation to ban TikTok in the United States? I feel like we get that headline once every six months at least. I, I don't believe it, but I'll take a peek here. This happens all the time. And then eventually it just peters out like, eh, it's okay, TikTok can stay. Members of Congress are being flooded with calls from angry constituents after TikTok launched a new campaign warning its users that the Chinese-owned app was at risk of being shut down in the U.S. Why it matters. A key House committee voted unanimously Thursday afternoon to advance bipartisan legislation that would force ByteDance, TikTok's Chinese parent company, to div divest its ownership of the app within 165 days. Didn't they already do this? I thought that was like one of the main stipulations for how it continued to survive. No, they just kept complaining about it. Oh. The highly unusual 50 to 0 vote in the House of Energy and Commerce, er, the House of Energy and Commerce Committee, which unveiled the bill two days ago alongside the China Select Committee, reflected the level of anger among some members of TikTok's pressure campaign. House Majority Lever Leader Steve Scalise announced Thursday he would bring the critical national security bill to the House floor for a vote next week. The White House has indicated that President Biden would sign the bill injecting new urgency and aggression into TikTok's campaign to counter the years-long efforts to address the app's national security risks. And the flood of calls to congressional offices which began Wednesday night was triggered by a notice on TikTok app warning users of a total ban that would damage millions of businesses, destroy the livelihoods of countless creators across the country, and deny artists an audience. After asking users to enter their zip code, TikTok then directed them to call their representative in Congress to let them know what TikTok means to you and tell them to vote no. Oh, it must have been like the worst 24 hours for these geriatrics getting calls from fucking little Jonathan. Hey, TikTok really means a lot. I go on there and watch all these really cool dances. 
You know, you can buy plutonium online for 50 bucks. I did not know that. I don't know what I'd ever do with plutonium, but if I ever need it now, that now I know it's available. <laughs> now it's looks maxing. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just only looks maxing. Mewing tutorials at the wazoo. Inhaling toxins. I understood that reference. That's about the uh, chroming, right? An 11 year old just died from that and Twitter was dunking on him for being stupid, which is like the most Twitter thing ever insulting an 11 year old. Wait, chroming like fucking Mad Max? Yeah, the trend was like you spray your face with a... Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember what it was now. But they used some kind of aerosol, which obviously has toxins in it. And an 11-year-old apparently passed away from it. And Twitter, like, the comments were just eating the kid alive, insulting his family, insulting the kids, saying natural selection wins again, rest in peace bozo type shit to an 11-year-old. Literally like a fucking fourth grader. Who just fell victim to the brain rot on TikTok, seeing all these other people doing it, so they do it themselves. Phones are completely bogged down hearing from students, young adults, adults, and business owners who are all concerned at the option of losing their access to the platform, a senior GOP aide told Axios Julia Grace Brufk. The authors of the bill responded furiously to what they call a massive propaganda campaign, emphasizing that TikTok would not be banned if ByteDance divests its ownership. TikTok is characterizing it as an outright ban, which is, of course, an outright lie. House China Select Committee Chair Mike Gallagher told reporters, I guess if you've got a bajillion dollars, you can come up with some crazy public affairs strategy. But it's backfiring as members are livid about the calls and misinformation. So bad, we turned phones off, which means we could miss calls from constituents who actually need urgent help with something. I wish TikTok would be shut down. I don't think it's going to happen. I think no matter what, it won't be shut down. Even if ByteDance refuses to divest its ownership, I just, I still don't see it happening. I think it's just too big. There's too much money at play. We should all gritty in front of the Capitol and protest. Yeah, just hit the say-so dance out there, bring world peace. Like that Pepsi commercial. There will always be another TikTok replacement. Well, it's called YouTube Shorts. But regardless, I, I don't see TikTok actually being shut down no matter what. TikTok is banned on federal devices and Biden administration officials helped with the bill's technical language, but the Biden campaign joined the app last month in an effort to reach young viewers. <laughs> Wait, you tell, you tell me Sleepy Joe's on there busting out some moves? What, what's the, what's the uh, Joe Biden content looking like on that app? Man throwing it in a circle? Fucking seductively licking ice cream at the camera? I'm super curious now. Hold on, let me see his campaign. In a video captioned, LOL, hey guys, Biden answered fun Super Bowl-related questions, such as game or commercials. And Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Oh man, he's... he's killing it! Where... where is it? Oh, that, wait, this actually Three is great it. great quarterbacks, hard to decide, but if I didn't say... I was for the Eagles, and I'd be sleeping alone. My wife's a Philly girl. Game or commercials? Game. Game or halftime show? Game. Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. I understand she makes great chocolate chip cookies. Deviously plotting to Damn the, that the Chiefs would make the Super Bowl, or the Chiefs just being a good football team? You'd get in trouble if I told you. Trump or Biden? Are you kidding? <laughs> Biden. Chiefs or nine? Damn, he's killing it. He's doing it. He's fucking doing it. You can't ban TikTok now. Joe Biden's hitting his stride. He's finally going to fulfill his lifelong dream of being a TikTok superstar. It can't be banned now. It's not getting shut down no matter what. Joe ain't got nothing on Hillary. She was dabbing with the best of them. Did she dab? I don't remember that. I remember the Pokemon go to the polls and I remember... I don't think it was Hillary, but there was some other politician that did like the uh, sexy grind trend. Which was... An interesting strategy. The White House also briefed around 70 digital content creators and influencers, many who are prominent on TikTok, ahead of Biden's State of the Union speech on Thursday. Multiple polls have found that TikTok, multiple polls have found TikTok to be the top source of news for Gen Z and an increasingly popular source for Americans overall. What does this mean? The White House briefed around 70 digital content creators and influencers. What do they have? Content creators on staff? They called the State of the Union internally for their 70 content creators on TikTok. Guys, get in here. Big news. DEF CON. We're going to try to meet the American people where they are. White House Press Secretary Karine, 
Karen Jean-Pierre told reporters when asked if the campaign's embrace of TikTok sent a conflicting message, it doesn't mean we're not going to try to figure out how to protect our national security. The bill marks the latest effort in what has become one of Washington's longest-running tech dramas, which began in August 2020 when President Trump ordered ByteDance to sell TikTok. Yeah, that's, I thought that's what happened, too. I thought I remembered reading they did. That effort was held up in court, and for most of the Biden administration, the company's fate in the U.S. has hinged on a long-awaited and still-pending decision from the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. Last year, the White House National Security Council threw its support behind the Restrict Act, a different bill aimed at TikTok that has languished in the Senate. Gallagher called on Biden to address the threat posed by TikTok's Chinese ownership in the State of the Union address. It's incumbent upon him to talk about our foremost national security threat, which is Chinese Communist Party, and this is part of that threat. I think the president would be wise to focus squ squarely on what we can do together, as Republicans, as Democrats, as Americans, to stand up to increasing communist aggression. There was a time when Vine was the biggest. Yeah, but Vine didn't get shut down by the government. It got shut down by the creators. 